hello fierce family welcome back to my channel so today we have the how to stretch after a run so let's get into it right about now if you have sore muscles this is a very good stretch for you too everyone can do it so we have five stretch that we're going to do today so let us start we're gonna start with the quarter strap stretch so you need something to hold on to so let's go place one arm on a wall or whatever you can hold on to and then use your other arm to grab your legs and make sure that your knee is pointing down to the floor so squeeze and hold it for 30 to 45 seconds before you switch to the other legs so let's go we're going to hold this position squeeze and hold it for 30 to 45 seconds just do as much as you can so let's go let's go all right put it back down and switch your legs put your arms on the wall or on the chair or just whatever to get a good balance lift your legs up grab it squeeze and make sure your knee is pointing downward straight to the floor and we're gonna hold that position for 30 for five seconds so hold it squeeze let's get a good stretch that's a very good one it's good to stretch before you start your run and when you're done running it's good to also stretch before you jump into the shower so these are five simple easy to do stretch that you can do within five minutes and you're done all right so get ready for cow stretch you also need something to hold on to a wall or some place your arms both arms on the wall and put one of your legs behind the other and then drive your hips forward bend your knee a little bit and then put pressure remember it's your legs you're stretching not your arms so you don't need to push the wall you just need the wall or the chair or, or whatever you're using as a balance so you just place your arms there and bend your knees a little bit and hold that position for 30 to 45 seconds repeat do as much as you can if you can do less even if it's 20 seconds just hold that position and switch your legs and you do the same right so hold that position hold it hold hold we have just five stretches to do so not a lot help you so you don't have to feel pain after you run if you're someone that goes for a long or run or short whatever off-road it's very good so here now we have three more to do so this last three we'll do it on our mat so get your mat if you don't have a mat just get something whatever it is to that you can lay down on now we're gonna do the hamstring stretch so lay down on your mat raise one of your legs up hold the other and place both arms behind your legs and pull it toward your chest and hold that position for 30 to 45 seconds hold that position let's stretch out the hamstrings let's go hold it hold it i know it's not easy probably your legs are vibrating by now but you can do it all right put it down and switch to the other legs hold it pull it closer to your chest and hold that position let's go for 30 to 45 seconds let's do it let's go we're almost done let's do this i know you can yes hold it more few more seconds to go few more seconds 
seconds to go. We're almost there. We're almost there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. All right. Put it back down and let's go for the next one. We have the item stretch if you don't have a band a scarf whatever you have that you, uh, at home that you can use will be just fine all right so you lay down put the rope the band whatever you have on one of your legs lay your arms the other arms out and pull your legs and hold that for 30 to 45 seconds hold it now it's not easy all right Put it back down, switch your legs, put the rope on the band on the other legs, and all right. Put it sideways, lay your arms flat on the floor, hold the band, hold it, hold it for 45 seconds or 30 seconds. Do as much as your energy can carry you. But let's go, let's have a good stretch, let's stretch out those muscles. So we don't feel soreness. All right. So we're getting ready for the last. All right. Now you're gonna cross your ankle over your knee, and you're gonna lock your both arms behind your thighs. But if that is too hard to do, you can put it behind your legs too. But it's best to put it behind your thighs hold that position for 30 to 45 seconds so let's go all right put it down and switch switch to the other legs and do the same we're going to re uh, repeat the same process all right hold it hold it 30 to 45 seconds hold it hold it Grab that leg, hold it. <laughs> We're gonna stretch out. All right. So that's it. That's the quick stretch that you can do before you jump into the shower. Because most times we always jump into the shower. So do this. Stretch yourself before you take a bath.